Nostalgic Nick here, taking you back to the romantic entanglements of a classic heartthrob. With his piercing blue eyes and a smirk that's just right, this music artist from the 40s, 50s, and 60s had a charm that few women could resist. Even the biggest names in Hollywood were drawn to him like moths to a flame. Delving into the life of this iconic figure, we uncover his relationships with young, up-and-coming starlets as well as established leading ladies. Each was captivated by his seductive blue eyes, making headlines and leaving a mark on the entertainment industry. Stay tuned as we explore the romantic connections that shaped this music artist's life and career. If you enjoy this deep dive, be sure to give it a thumbs up and follow our channel for more nostalgia. Now, let's dive into the stories of these strangers in the night. Nancy Barbato and the music artist met as teenagers and were married before he turned 24. Initially blissful, the marriage became strained due to his fame and numerous extramarital affairs, leading to their separation in 1950 after his ongoing affair with Ava Gardner became known. Despite their separation, they never fell out of love according to their granddaughter. In 1946, the music artist Frank Sinatra became utterly enchanted by Lana Turner after witnessing her striking performance in a film. This captivation led to what Sinatra described as a very passionate affair. However, Turner denied these claims for years, insisting that their interactions were more platonic in nature. The music artist, already a well-known figure in the industry, found himself utterly drawn to the talented actress. He was not alone in his admiration for Turner, who had become a household name and a symbol of Hollywood glamour. Her stunning beauty and undeniable talent had captured the hearts of many, including Sinatra. Despite Turner's denials, Sinatra remained steadfast in his claims of a passionate affair. The two were often seen together at various events and gatherings, further fueling speculation of a romantic relationship. However, Turner continued to downplay their interactions, suggesting that they were simply close friends. Regardless of the true nature of their relationship, there is no denying the impact that Lana Turner had on Frank Sinatra. The music artist was known for his many romantic entanglements, but few had captured his attention as thoroughly as Turner had. Her allure and charm had left a lasting impression on him, one that would be remembered for years to come. As time went on, both Sinatra and Turner continued to find success in their respective fields. They remained friends, often crossing paths at industry events and gatherings. Though the nature of their relationship had been a subject of much speculation, one thing was certain Lana Turner had left a lasting impact on Frank Sinatra, one that would not be forgotten. The marriage of the music artist, Frank Sinatra, to the glamorous Hollywood actress Ava Gardner in 1951 was tumultuous, to say the least. Their relationship was marked by mutual infidelity, which ultimately led to the demise of their union. Gardner's charm and beauty were captivating, and she had no shortage of admirers. It was during this time that she started dating a famous matador, which was the final straw for the music artist. The marriage ended shortly after, but despite their rocky relationship, Sinatra remained supportive of Gardner financially as her health declined later in life. The music artist was known for his generosity, and this was just one example of how he extended his kindness to those he cared about. Even after their marriage had ended, he still had a soft spot for Gardner and wanted to ensure she was taken care of. Their relationship may have been fraught with challenges, but it was also filled with passion and intensity. The music artist was deeply in love with Gardner, and her memory stayed with him long after their marriage had ended. Despite the difficulties they face, the music artist and Gardner shared a bond that was unique and unforgettable. Their love story, though marked by heartache and pain, was also filled with moments of joy and deep connection. As time went on, Gardner's health began to decline and the music artist stepped up to support her in any way he could. Even after their marriage had ended, he remained a constant presence in her life, offering his financial support and unwavering loyalty. The music artist's love for Gardner was unwavering, even in the face of their tumultuous relationship. He remained committed to her, both during their marriage and after it had ended, offering his support and kindness whenever she needed it. Their love story is a testament to the power of passion and intensity, even in the face of heartache and pain. The music artist and Gardner shared a bond that was unforgettable, and their love will forever be etched in the annals of Hollywood history. Angie Dickinson and the music artist Frank Sinatra had an on-and-off relationship that spanned nearly two decades. 
Their love story began on the set of the Colgate Comedy Hour. The relationship was not marked by intense passion, but rather by a deep and enduring connection that allowed it to withstand the test of time. Their bond was strong, but they also understood the importance of giving each other space and maintaining their independence. This approach to their relationship was one of the reasons why they were able to stay together for so long, despite the many challenges that they faced over the years. Throughout their time together, Angie and Frank remained devoted to each other, even when they were apart. They stayed in touch and continued to support each other's careers, even as they pursued other romantic interests. Their relationship was a testament to the power of a deep and abiding connection, one that was strong enough to endure the many ups and downs that life threw their way. Even though they eventually went their separate ways, their love for each other never truly faded away. To this day, Angie Dickinson remains one of the most important people in Frank Sinatra's life, and their love story continues to inspire and captivate fans around the world. Despite the many challenges that they faced, their bond remained unbroken, a testament to the enduring power of love. After his relationship with Ava Gardner, the music artist Frank Sinatra became involved with another Hollywood star, Lauren Buckhall. However, there was a catch Buckhall was already married to Humphrey Bogart, a close friend of Sinatra. This love triangle caused quite a stir in the film industry and among their fans. Their relationship led to an engagement in 1958, but it was not meant to be. The public backlash after Bogart's death in 1957 proved to be too much for the couple to handle. Buckhall received harsh criticism for her involvement with Sinatra while her husband was still alive, and the situation only worsened after Bogart's passing. Despite the public's disapproval, Sinatra and Buckhall's engagement was a significant event in the music artist's life. It showed that even in the face of adversity, he was not afraid to pursue what he wanted. However, the engagement was eventually called off, and Sinatra moved on to other relationships. Lauren Buckhall remained a prominent figure in Hollywood, continuing her successful acting career. Meanwhile, Sinatra continued to make his mark in the music industry, releasing hit after hit, and solidifying his place as a true American icon. Even though their relationship was short-lived, the impact of Sinatra and Buckhall's involvement is still felt today. It serves as a reminder of the complexities of love and the challenges that come with fame. The music artist Frank Sinatra and Marilyn Monroe became close friends, sharing personal struggles and offering each other support. They even lived together as roommates for a time, maintaining a platonic relationship. However, an intimate encounter did eventually occur between them. Following Monroe's tragic death, Sinatra was deeply affected, reflecting the depth of their friendship. The music artist's connection with Monroe was just one aspect of his complex and multifaceted life, which included a successful career in music and film. In the early 1960s, the music artist Frank Sinatra became engaged to Juliet Prowse, a young actress who had starred alongside him in the film Can Can. However, their engagement was short-lived, as Prowse was unwilling to give up her career in the spotlight. Additionally, the music artist's behavior became difficult to manage after drinking, which further strained their relationship. Juliet Prowse was a talented dancer and actress born in South Africa in 1936. She had studied ballet from a young age and had already achieved success in London's West End before being cast in Can Can. Prowse's career was on the rise and she had no intention of giving it up to become a housewife. On the other hand, Frank Sinatra was at the height of his career with numerous hit songs and movies to his name. However, his personal life was often tumultuous, with a history of alcohol abuse and volatile relationships. Despite his love for Prowse, the music artist's behavior became increasingly difficult to handle, leading to the end of their engagement. The music artist's engagement to Juliet Prowse was just one of many relationships in his life. However, it marked a significant moment in his career, as he had fallen in love with a talented actress while filming Can Can. Although their relationship was short-lived, it remains a notable chapter in the music artist's long and storied career. In 1966, the marriage of the music artist, Frank Sinatra, and Mia Farrow came as a surprise to many. Their union was unexpected due to their significant age difference and contrasting lifestyles. The music artist, already in his 50s, was known for his suave charm and bachelor lifestyle, while Mia Farrow, in her early 20s, was a rising star in Hollywood with a more bohemian lifestyle. Their marriage was short-lived 
and Sinatra served Pharaoh divorce papers in 1968 while she was on the set of the film Rosemary's Baby. The divorce was finalized in 1968, but their relationship remained a topic of interest in the years that followed. One such point of interest was Pharaoh's later hints that Sinatra might be the father of her son, Ronan, born 20 years after their divorce. Although Sinatra had denied these rumors, Pharaoh's comments kept the speculation alive. Despite the controversies surrounding the relationship, Sinatra's marriage to Pharaoh was a significant event in the music artist's personal life. It was a departure from his usual bachelor lifestyle and added another layer to his already complex public image. The marriage may have been brief, but its impact was felt for years to come. Frank Sinatra's fourth and final marriage was to Barbara Marks in 1976. This union turned out to be his longest marriage, yet it was not without its challenges. One of the major issues that arose was Marx's strained relationship with Sinatra's children. Barbara Marx, the former showgirl and actress, first met Sinatra in 1951, but it wasn't until more than two decades later that they reconnected and began a romantic relationship. After Sinatra's divorce from his third wife, Marx and Sinatra tied the knot in a private ceremony in 1976. Despite the length of their marriage, Marx's interactions with Sinatra's children were often tense. The children, who had already experienced their father's multiple marriages, found it difficult to connect with their father's new wife. This strain on their relationships added complexity to the music artist's personal life. As Sinatra grew older, his health began to decline. However, Marx did not inform his children as he lay dying, creating controversy and further damaging the relationships between Marx and Sinatra's offspring. This decision has been a subject of debate among fans and observers alike. In the end, Frank Sinatra's marriage to Barbara Marx lasted until his death, but it was not without its complications. The strained relationships between Marx and Sinatra's children have left a lasting impact on the music artist's legacy. Frank Sinatra's romantic life was as captivating as his music, marked by a series of intense relationships with some of Hollywood's most famous women. The music artist's romantic escapades were often dramatic and public, reflecting his passionate and spirited personality. In the early 1940s, the music artist had a brief affair with actress Lana Turner, who was already married at the time. This was just the beginning of a long line of romantic entanglements that would come to define Sinatra's personal life. One of his most high-profile relationships was with actress Ava Gardner, whom he married in 1951. Their marriage was marked by intense passion and frequent arguments, and the couple eventually divorced in 1957. However, their relationship remained tumultuous even after their divorce, with Sinatra reportedly still carrying a torch for his ex-wife for many years. The music artist was also linked to other famous women, including Marilyn Monroe, Judy Garland, and Mia Farrow. His relationship with Farrell, who was 30 years his junior, was particularly controversial and ended bitterly after just two years of marriage. Despite the drama and heartache that often accompanied his relationships, Sinatra remained a consummate romantic throughout his life. He once said, I'm for anything that gets you through the night, be it prayer, tranquilizers, or a bottle of Jack Daniels. Sinatra's romantic life was as much a part of his public persona as his music and it continues to fascinate fans and scholars alike. His relationships were often intense, dramatic, and public, reflecting the music artist's own passionate and spirited personality. From the bustling streets of Hoboken, New Jersey, Frank Sinatra's journey into the world of music began. Born in 1915 to Italian immigrant parents, his upbringing was modest. His passion for music was ignited by his parents, who were both involved in local singing groups. As a teenager, he admired Bing Crosby and sought to emulate his smooth vocal style. He found early guidance from a local vocal coach, and through dedication, he honed his craft. His determination and love for music led him to his first big break, and the rest, as they say, is history. Growing up in Hoboken, New Jersey, Frank Sinatra found solace in music from a young age. His mother, Natalina, was an influential figure in his life and nurtured his love for singing. She would often sing popular songs of the time, and Frank would listen intently, captivated by her voice. This early exposure to music sparked a flame within him. At the age of 15, Sinatra attended a concert featuring Bing Crosby, a popular singer and actor of the time. As Crosby's smooth baritone voice filled the room, 
Frank was left in awe, mesmerized by the power of music and the connection it created between the performer and the audience. It was in this moment that he realized his passion for singing and his desire to captivate audiences in the same way. Sinatra began performing at local events and clubs, owning his craft and developing his unique style. His persistence paid off when, in 1935, he won a singing competition at the Palisades Amusement Park in New Jersey. This victory served as a turning point in his career, providing him with the confidence and validation he needed to pursue his dreams. Throughout his career, Sinatra would face numerous challenges and setbacks, but his unwavering passion for music and performance kept him moving forward. His ability to connect with audiences through his heartfelt and emotional performances would leave an indelible mark on the music industry, solidifying his place as one of the greatest singers of all time. And so, the creative spark that began in his childhood home, fueled by his mother's singing and kindled by Bing Crosby's performance, would grow into a roaring fire, illuminating the path of Frank Sinatra's extraordinary career. Born into a humble family in Hoboken, New Jersey, Frank Sinatra faced significant challenges on his path to becoming a musical icon. Financial struggles were a constant presence in his early life. His father, a firefighter, struggled to support their large family, leaving young Frank without the means for formal musical education. Despite these obstacles, Sinatra's love for music drove him to teach himself, spending hours listening to jazz records and practicing his vocal skills. He began performing at local nightclubs, determined to make a name for himself in the competitive world of music. However, the entertainment industry was skeptical of the unpolished, self-taught singer. Rejections were common, and record executives often dismissed him as lacking the refined style of established artists. But Sinatra remained undeterred, refining his craft and honing his unique sound. In a creative twist, he started performing with big bands, leveraging their popularity to gain exposure. His collaboration with the Harry James Orchestra and Tommy Dorsey Band brought him to the attention of music lovers and industry insiders alike. By the late 1930s, Frank Sinatra's resilience and determination paid off. He became a household name, selling out concerts and topping the charts with hits like Strangers in the Night and My Way. His unique voice and emotive delivery left an indelible mark on the music industry, transforming him into a cultural icon. Throughout his career, Sinatra faced numerous challenges, from industry skepticism to personal struggles. Yet, his unwavering determination and creative problem solving allowed him to overcome these hurdles and leave a lasting legacy in the world of music. After starting his career in the 1940s, Frank Sinatra's breakthrough moment came in 1954 with the album Swing Easy. This record showcased his unique vocal style and phrasing, setting him apart from other singers. Critics and peers alike praised Sinatra's ability to convey emotion through his music. In 1955, Sinatra released In the Wee Small Hours, which is considered one of the first concept albums in popular music. The songs on this album revolved around the theme of late night introspection, and it received widespread critical acclaim for its innovative approach. Sinatra's collaborator, Nelson Riddle, played a significant role in shaping the album's sound and orchestrations. One of Sinatra's most groundbreaking projects was the 1965 album September of My Years. This record, released when Sinatra was 50, addressed the topic of aging head-on. It resonated with older audiences and solidified Sinatra's status as a mature, introspective artist. Throughout his career, Sinatra's work often received recognition from his peers. In 1967, he won the Grammy for Best Male Vocal Performance for Strangers in the Night, a testament to his enduring appeal and vocal prowess. Collaborator Quincy Jones once said, Frank was the most complete artist I ever worked with. He had a total understanding of the art form, from the lyric to the band. This sentiment underscores the impact Sinatra had on the music industry and the lasting legacy he left behind. In the late 1970s, Sinatra made a successful comeback with the album trilogy Past, Present, Future. This three-disc set showcased his ability to adapt to contemporary styles while maintaining his signature sound. It won him another Grammy for Best Male Pop Vocal Performance in 1981. Throughout his career, Frank Sinatra's breakthrough moments were marked by his willingness to take risks and explore new musical territories. His impact on popular music remains significant and his legacy continues to resonate with new generations of fans and artists. Frank Sinatra's artistic vision 
and process were deeply intertwined with his personal experiences and worldview. Born in 1915 in Hoboken, New Jersey, Sinatra was the only child of Italian immigrants. His early life, marked by poverty and a strained relationship with his father, would later influence his music and acting career. Sinatra's unique approach to music was characterized by his ability to convey raw emotion through his voice. He once said, I'm for whatever gets people to listen to music. This philosophy was reflected in his willingness to experiment with different styles and genres from big band and swing to pop and jazz. Sinatra's creative process was often spontaneous and intuitive. He preferred to record his songs in a single take, capturing the raw energy and emotion of the moment. His producer, Victor Hugo, once said he'd walk in, do a song in one take, and walk out. It was amazing. Sinatra's personal experiences and worldview were also reflected in his music. His songs often dealt with themes of love, loss, and longing, reflecting his own struggles and relationships. For example, his hit song My Way was inspired by his own experiences and his determination to succeed on his own terms. Sinatra's acting career was also shaped by his personal experiences and worldview. He often played characters who were outsiders or underdogs, reflecting his own feelings of marginalization and his desire to prove himself. His performances were marked by his ability to convey complex emotions with subtlety and nuance. In conclusion, Frank Sinatra's artistic vision and process were deeply intertwined with his personal experiences and worldview. His willingness to experiment with different styles and genres, his spontaneous and intuitive creative process, and his ability to convey raw emotion through his voice and acting performances have left a lasting impact on the world of music and entertainment. Frank Sinatra, a name synonymous with jazz and pop music, made an indelible contribution to the industry. His smooth voice and emotive delivery captured the hearts of many, selling millions of records worldwide. Sinatra's influence extended beyond his music, shaping trends and techniques in storytelling. According to Stan Cornyn, former executive at Warner Brothers Records, Frank had a voice that could make you believe he was living the song. This ability to convey emotion deeply resonated with audiences, setting a new standard for vocal performance. His impact is evident in the way later artists modeled their styles after him. Artists like Michael Bublé and Harry Connick Jr. have cited Sinatra as a significant influence, adopting his suave style and big band sound. Bublé once stated, Sinatra is the definition of cool and his music will never go out of style. Sinatra also played a pivotal role in popularizing the concept album. His 1955 release, In the Wee Small Hours, is often regarded as one of the first concept albums, with its songs exploring themes of love and late-night introspection. This innovative approach influenced future artists to experiment with thematic storytelling in their music. Moreover, Sinatra was a trailblazer in crossing over from music to film. He won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor in From Here to Eternity, demonstrating his versatility as a performer. His acting career further solidified his status as a cultural icon, inspiring generations of musicians and actors alike. In essence, Frank Sinatra's contributions to the music industry are immeasurable. His unique style, emotive storytelling, and cross-genre influence have left a lasting impact on the tapestry of American music and popular culture. Beyond his successful music career, Frank Sinatra was known for his strong personal values and philanthropic efforts. He was a devoted family man, and his love for his family was often reflected in his music. Sinatra was also a man of integrity who stood up for what he believed in, even if it meant facing criticism. Sinatra was passionate about many causes, but one that was particularly close to his heart was supporting the military. He often performed for troops stationed overseas and was a vocal advocate for veterans' rights. Sinatra also supported numerous children's charities and was a major donor to the Democratic Party. In addition to his philanthropic efforts, Sinatra was known for his love of golf and gambling. He was a frequent visitor to Las Vegas and even owned a stake in the famous Sands Hotel and Casino. Sinatra's love of golf led him to establish the Frank Sinatra Celebrity Invitational, an annual charity golf tournament that raised millions of dollars for various causes. Sinatra's personal values and interests often informed his work. His love of his family and commitment to integrity were reflected in his music, 
While his support for the military and various charities demonstrated his dedication to giving back to his community, Sinatra's passions for golf and gambling also inspired some of his most famous songs, such as Ain't That a Kick in the Head and Luck Be a Lady. Overall, Frank Sinatra was not only a legendary musician, but also a man of great character and generosity. His personal values and interests shaped his music and his philanthropic efforts, leaving a lasting impact on the world. Frank Sinatra, a name synonymous with success in the music industry. His legacy is one of an unforgettable voice, charismatic stage presence, and a catalog of hits that continue to resonate today. Sinatra's influence extends beyond music, encompassing film, and even the culinary world. His impact is indelibly etched in the annals of history. For aspiring professionals, Sinatra's advice is timeless. He once said, the best voice is a well-used one. This suggests that practice and experience are invaluable. It's not just about natural talent, but also about honing one's craft and continuously learning. Sinatra also believed in the importance of individuality. He famously said, I'm for whatever gets you through the night. This can be interpreted as encouragement for artists to stay true to themselves and their art, even in the face of adversity or criticism. In terms of future contributions, the music industry is always evolving, with new artists and genres constantly emerging. Sinatra might advise aspiring professionals to embrace change, but also to respect and learn from the past. After all, as he once said, I'm a product of the American people, and I'm proud of that. In the end, Sinatra's legacy is not just about his music, but also about his attitude and approach to his craft. He was a consummate professional who understood the power of hard work, individuality, and respect for the past. These are lessons that continue to resonate in the music industry and beyond. Frank Sinatra's journey in the music industry is a testament to the power of passion and perseverance. Born in 1915, he found solace in music from an early age, a refuge that would eventually shape his destiny. Sinatra's unique voice and innovative style set him apart, captivating audiences and leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment landscape. His career was marked by many highs and lows, but Sinatra's resilience was unwavering. Rejected by Columbia Records in the 1930s, he didn't let this setback deter him. Instead, he honed his craft, perfecting his signature sound and style. His persistence paid off, leading to a successful career spanning several decades. Sinatra's music resonated with people from all walks of life. His ability to convey emotion through his songs, combined with his innovative style, made him a trailblazer in the industry. He pushed the boundaries of what was possible in music, inspiring countless artists who followed in his footsteps. Sinatra's enduring impact is evident in the countless covers of his songs and the many tributes paid to him over the years. His music continues to captivate audiences, a testament to his enduring legacy. In the end, Frank Sinatra's journey is a powerful reminder of the importance of creativity and perseverance. His passion for music and his unwavering determination serve as an inspiration to us all, reminding us that with hard work and dedication, we can achieve our dreams. Without a doubt, Frank Sinatra left an indelible mark on the world of music. With a career spanning decades, his work continues to resonate with fans of all ages. Born on December 12, 1915, in Hoboken, New Jersey, Sinatra's smooth voice and captivating stage presence made him a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. Throughout his career, Sinatra released numerous hit songs, including Strangers in the Night, My Way, in New York, New York. His ability to convey emotion through his music made him a true master of his craft. His work continues to be celebrated and cherished by music lovers around the world. In addition to his music, Sinatra was also an accomplished actor, appearing in films such as From Here to Eternity and The Manchurian Candidate. His portrayal of characters with depth and complexity showcased his versatility as a performer. As we reflect on Sinatra's legacy, it's impossible to ignore the impact he had on the entertainment industry. His work transcended generations and will continue to do so for years to come. So, let's hear your thoughts on Frank Sinatra's work and legacy. What are your favorite songs or memories of him? Be sure to like and share this content with other music lovers in your life. And don't forget to subscribe for more celebrations of the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Together, we can keep the legacy of Frank Sinatra alive.